Hi, it's Paul from HowToNetwork.net. It's Friday the 12th of February 2010. This is the 141st HowToNetwork.net tip of the day. So first thing is I sent out any, uh, my tip yesterday but I couldn't record a video due to problems with my uh, webcam. Uh, if any of you have access to a .edu edu page, for example if you're a student or a uh, lecturer, if you could just drop me a line to help at howtonetwork.net, I'd like to, um, if it's okay with you, give you some content to host on a page. I've already got several students that have hosted exams and other goodies. Basically, it's just very good for um, promoting the site on. And um, if you've got your own private page there on a education website about networking, then it's some stuff you can put in your site. So please drop me a line if um, if you do have access. The other thing is, um, a lot of people didn't realise we've got a free subnetting calculator on the website and we've got another cool tool as well. If you go to departments and then free tools, basically if you just fill in a, a net, your first name and email address, I'll send you the subnetting calculator and the subnetting question generator, uh, which basically generates questions and you can test your subnetting knowledge. So they're absolutely free and... Um, I just asked for your email address because uh, we're getting the tool updated and I can I can send you a link for a new version. If you missed it, I've got Access Lists Lecture number one on YouTube. Uh, the first lecture is actually half an hour long, but um, the whole half an hour is available to members on the website. If you come to the website and click on CCNA Lectures, you can see the Access List there. It's part one of what's going to be probably four lectures because Access List is such a big topic. And in part one, I explain all of the rules for access lists. And I um, guarantee you probably won't have seen them anywhere else. Certainly not all of the rules. You'll see references to them or maybe one or two. But I've put down all the rules that uh, I know exist for access lists, but you don't often read. Uh, today, if you catch this email in time, it's coaching day for Platinum members. If you go to the Platinum pages on the website, and it's the big purple coloured link there. Uh, if you go there and click on uh, Success School and then it's got the coaching link there. It basically has got a, a USA phone number and a UK phone number that will come through to me. Uh, other thing is uh, the CCNA Voice Simplified Manual should be out in about two weeks time. I'm just getting the the whole book edited together so it's in a printable version so we can send to the printers. So I'll say around two weeks to get that done and also get the cover designed. The other thing is uh, I get a lot of emails about studying technique and someone has asked me a question, what's the best time of the day to study? Well, uh, everyone's different basically. I used to work shifts so I got up at half five in the morning and studied for an hour and a half before I went to work. I was on a help desk for uh, only for a few months, that was long enough for me. I studied during my lunch break and I studied every evening so it depends what suits you to be honest. If you don't mind getting up early and you can get a good hour and a half in then that's brilliant. What I find is if you leave it to later on in the day then things can happen that interrupt your flow and before you, you know you've missed a study day which is a shame. So that's all I've got to say, have a great weekend and I'll see you on Monday. Take care.